Hey guys, it's me, and I know you're probably freaking out right now, thinking, is it true? Did he really leave BuzzFeed? Well, yep, it's true, and I have to say, it hasn't been easy for me, because I truly did make a lot of colleagues at the company. I started to notice a bit of toxicity that was messing with my spirit energies. This all started in March 12th, 2023. So I'm in work, I'm typing away, da 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 I start to notice some crumbs falling from the ceiling on my head. I look up and there's a hole up there. There's a man in the hole and he, he has a big long finger and he says, come up, you have to come up into the ceiling. I'm like, what the F? How did he get up there, you know? And so I'm a bit freaked out and I'm trying to be nice. Uh, sorry, I have, I have too much work to do. You know, I can't come up. He says, you have to come up. It's part of the job. It's part of work. You have to come up. So I go up there. Who's up there? Of course, Dwayne The Rock is up there and he's got a can of his signature drink pure blood energy and so he says listen we have to do the biggest viral video of the whole freaking universe right now and so i say well that's a big deal you know he says yeah you don't think i'd call you up into the ceiling if i was taking the fucking piss do you that, those are his words not mine so he puts me on a, a chartered flight to the moon and so we fly to the moon and we get to the buzzfeed headquarters there when we go into the buzzfeed headquarters the real ceo of buzzfeed is there the one on earth was just a decoy so we go in there he's green he has a big long head and his name is Quilb, and so I take one look at him and I think this just screams of late stage capitalism because he's sitting in a big gold throne and I'm thinking you know Buzzfeed is like an internet thing what does he need the big gold throne for but anyway we're chit chatting away shooting the shit you know and uh, so I ask him whereabouts are you from Quilb and he says literally miles away from here so at that stage i'm thinking okay now things are getting a little absurd because i've never seen someone who looks like quill before and for all i know he might not even be from california so uh, and i should mention that quill he doesn't speak a lick of english this is all done through google translate so he shows me the thing and says look we've got to do the complete viral video it's got to get at least a billion views i say a billion views that's not that's not even real he says yeah that's because they're gonna have to come up with a new name for how many views it gets so i'm he said he says you have any ideas so i'm thinking i'm thinking then i think i say what if we do a video mexicans try asian food for the first time and his face lights up he's absolutely chuffed big rosy cheeks on him and he gives me the shaka so i know he likes the idea so they we signed a contract there and he puts me on the first flight back home and i'm looking out the window i'm looking at all the planets going by on my way back from the moon <laughs> and uh, and um you know it's at that point i'm starting to think you know maybe this isn't for me maybe BuzzFeed wasn't the company I thought it was, you know, and it, six months later, I gave in my notice and that was it really. And, you know, that's my story. That's really why I left BuzzFeed and now I'm going off on my own adventure to explore my own possibilities and my own truths. So if you want to help me in that adventure, you could follow, you could sign up to my Patreon. You could uh, follow me on all the socials. You could write me a check for $10,000 made it to Bank of America. That really helps me out. And uh, yeah, so that's my story. Thanks for listening and peace.